Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing some new makeup. I went to Ulta, I bought all this new makeup. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it real quick. Like, please go watch it real quick. I kind of went off and I was shopping around and I was like, you know what, Hannah, it's time for some new makeup. Try some things out. You haven't done that in a while. Honestly, too, it's summer. I haven't been wearing a whole lot of makeup, so maybe that's like half of the issue. You know, I'm just in the mood now. I'm kind of just in the mood. And a lot of it is like TikTok influence, of course. You know, I spend all my time on TikTok, so I'm going to be influenced to buy some things. But just for funsies, let's try out some new makeup. I love filming videos like this too. Fun to talk and try out new things. And then at the end, you've got the masterpiece. Before we start, I'm gonna wet my beauty blender. This is just a PSA to wash your brushes and beauty blender because I just washed them for the first time in probably a year or so. I don't remember the last time that I washed them. I feel like you can never get everything out of a beauty blender. I don't know what the problem was. I sat there with Dawn dish soap forever, like scrubbing stuff out of it. So it's either deeply embedded or like, I don't know. Just going right in with foundation. I've got the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation in the shade beige. Here's the problem. I just bought this yesterday. Do I know if it's my shade? I don't. We could really just start this out on the wrong foot now, couldn't we? I do like that it's a little squirt top, so I'm just gonna like go in on my hand. It does look a little dark for my face, but well, here goes nothing. Really not a bad match. I feel like I can usually get away with like beige in general. Kind of smells like baby powder. Maybe that's something else, I don't know. It is pretty light coverage, so I'm gonna put a little bit more. That was probably too much. I think this was honestly a really good match for my skin. I do also just have more acne on this side, so it's kind of showing through and I don't have much on this side. I mean, I like it so far. Do I think it's anything miraculous right now? No, but it does look good. Next thing I'm gonna go in with is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I've also never had this and I got the shade light sand. I don't know, we'll see. It really looks lighter in the camera. Maybe we just need to bronze. You know, I think this is a good shade underneath my eyes. Maybe not for my whole face. It is a little bit thicker than I'm used to for concealers I put underneath my eyes. This is what I usually use, the Maybelline Rewind Stick. And then I'll go around my face with like a buff beige concealer. So I think this is gonna be good for underneath the eyes. Around my face, maybe a little too white. Maybe needs something a little warmer, but it does conceal the acne pretty good. Overall, I'm gonna rate this like eight, maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. This is my go-to butter bronzer. I've had it for a while. I need a new one. It's literally fallen apart. I'm gonna go ahead and put some color back into my face. My hair's grown out so much and I don't know how to function with long hair anymore. Like, I got so used to having short hair. Next, let's go in with blush. Why not? Let's do this darn thing. This is a new blush. It's from Essence in the shade Below. I always hate like ruining the little pressed thing because it just looks so pretty. I like to put a little bit on my nose. I know it looks crazy right now, but once I blend it all out, it should be fine. Should be is the key word. Also like to work that blush up onto my forehead a little bit. I have seen a lot of girls start to like put blush more like right here. Just kind of like dragging it all along and it does look cute. I'm just not sure if it works for my cheekbones. Now I'm going to bake a little bit. This isn't new. I use it all the time. Air spun in the shade Naturally Neutral. Let's move on to eyes. One of the new things I got was this Ulta brand matte creamy shadow in the shade Game Over. I just thought this would be like a good base, you know, kind of like how you put bronzer on your eyelids. Wow. I'm kind of in love with this. I don't feel like you can tell much, but like look now, a little bit of a shadow, nothing really. Subtle for sure. I actually, like this may be the star of the show. Like I know it's small, it's the small things that matter most. Now we'll see if it creases. That's really the real test. Another new thing, Ulta Beauty Eyeshadow in the shade Whatevs. It's Whatevs. Just an everyday look type of deal, nothing spectacular. I'm gonna put it probably all over my eyelid. The smallest little hint of shimmer and very buildable for sure. Next, I think it's a good idea if we go ahead and just blend out the powder on my face. Next, we're not gonna fill in the brows. We're just gonna go in with this Anastasia Beverly, Bever 
Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is new for me. I think it is the perfect like amount of hold on your eyebrows. Also, I love that it's clear because my brows are dark naturally. I don't need them to stick out anymore. They're doing the most already. You know, they are who they are. Love this go-to. It's 22 bucks, so it is a little bit more expensive for an eyebrow gel, but like look how big this is. Usually eyebrow gel this size. Next, I'm really excited for this. Never tried a lash primer. The volume boosted lash primer and super volume with super fruits whatever that means i need like one of those heated eyelash curlers but it's probably aren't good for your eyelashes honestly the more i look at this makeup the more i'm like okay this actually looks really good am i going off i'm kind of going off okay now we're going in with the lash primer super excited about this like never done this maybe it'll change my life I don't really know how to use this. I don't know how much to put on there i think it's pretty crazy that it's white though like what if i just left it like that Done both sides. The lashes are dry, kind of. Now we're gonna try the Lash Princess False Lash Effect. This is the one that people have been raving about on TikTok, so we'll just see how great it is, okay? I have heard that it sweats. Nothing crazy about the brush tip. I don't know, it looks pretty standard. We're gonna try this on my right eye. Overall thoughts, definitely lengthened my eyelashes the primer did. It's a little clumpy. This is a pretty dramatic eyelash. Not sure if I love it. I'm used to using the L'Oreal Telescopic, so it's just really more of a lengthening lash. This is a volumizing mascara, so it makes sense that would be more like, like I just can't explain it more like that. Bold. Now we're gonna go in with the sculpted volume. Wait, okay, I guess they're both volumizing. Sculpted volume mascara is what the purple one is, and this one is just a false eyelash effect. So I thought this one was gonna be more lengthening, but it's not, it's just more volume. A little bit more curve in this one. These are the two compared. I think they look different. I think I would like them more without the lash primer, honestly. I think I'm team green overall. Like, but there's so many variables that could have gone into it. Maybe the primer sat different on one than the other. Maybe eyelashes are just like eyebrows, like sisters, not twins. Time to move on to, you guessed it, lips. This is where I went off the most at Ulta. Like I bought three different lip liners, three different chapsticks and a lip stain. Going in with the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner. It is a waterproof lip liner in the shade Curious is what it's called. Shade 1 Curious. Wow, gorgeous shade. So usually with lip liners, I like to just put them on and then maybe put like a chapstick on. Kind of like this. Kind of smooth it out a little bit. Isn't it crazy how lip liner just like makes a giant difference? A second ago, I had no lips. After the lip liner, I looked like I had a lip injection. For the sake of video, we're going to go in with the ColourPop Fresh Kiss lip stain in the shade Berry Right. I think you would be able to use this as like a cheek stain as well. That is bright. That's very bright, very berry. I'm gonna rub it off before it dries too quickly just to see what like a lighter, more natural shade of this stain would be. After I rubbed a little bit of it off, this is a little bit more bearable for me. I'm not a huge bold lip color person. I almost forgot the most important part, my go-to. Leave a comment letting me know what you think, if you love it, if you hate it. Roast me in the comments, honestly, I'm here for it. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. Honestly, have the best day. It was so much fun hanging out with you today.